Hi. Uh, automated test cannot go without its verifications. In Test Studio, there are several ways to add a verification. First one is from the recorder. While you record your test, you can execute any clicks or other actions, but you can also add verifications. First, you can add them from the highlighting directly on your website. When you highlight an element, there is a quick step menu in which you can add different kind of uh, actions and verifications. Here we've put the most used verifications. If a verification is missing from here, uh, you can add it from the this panel here. When you select an element, you can locate this element into the DOM tree. Here you see the DOM tree of your web application. When you click an element in the verification panel, you, you see the different types of verification steps that you can add. If it is, exists, if it is visible, you can verify the content, the inner text, the text content. You can verify different kind of uh, attributes of this element, like the class and ID here. You can verify uh, all the styles, the font, the text, everything, everything. So you have a lot of a lot of verifications that you can add from our recorder. The other way to add verifications, uh, it is let's say it offline without the recorder. This is inside Test Studio. So once you've recorded some steps, you also recorded some element. So when you click on a step here in the Element Explorer, you can see the element that is being used by this step. So here, without the recorder, you can add verifications or any other actions as well. You need to select the element that you wish to use. Let's say that this is this search field. And here in the Step Builder, select Actions or Verifications. In this case, we'll be adding a verification. So here are again the existing verifications that we already saw in the recorder. So once you have the element recorded, you can add those verifications uh, offline without having the recorder. So if you miss something or if you want to add quickly add verifications after the recording, you can do it from our step builder. Here, I added one. A uh, verification about the text content of that field. You can change the compare type. You can change what is being verified. Uh, and you should, of course, add the text to be uh, the expected uh, string. In that way, you can add uh, different kind of verifications to your test. Thank you.